Time last year, not one but two seal pups were rescued from the shores of Cape Elizabeth. Well, actually, the second seal was rescued from the middle of the road by a plow truck driver. The first seal saved, which would later be named Sunshine, is the focus of a new children's book. It's called A Seal Named Sunshine. The author, Terry Perkins Mittman, lives in Cape Elizabeth, and as she told Sam, still remembers vividly the day she came across the young seal on her property. It was, you know, January, typically too cold to walk on the rocks, but this day was kind of, it was like a break in the cold weather. So we took our dogs out around and across the rocks, and as we were walking, our dogs went right by, and all of a sudden we saw this animal, this white fluffy animal just still staring at us. It was so still that the dogs had run right by, and we were like, what is that? So I quick whistled the dogs back, grabbed them, handed them my phone to my husband, and he clicked a picture, and then we just backed away. And it didn't look like, like I've seen seals in the summer, or, but I had never, I just wasn't expecting to see an animal like that in the winter. Yeah. Which now I understand that's when gray seal pups are born. So. Right, right, right. And that's how you got connected with the marine mammals of Maine, which is a rehabilitation center in Brunswick. They took that seal pup, and what did they learn about her? Well, so first of all, when we came back in, we called, and uh, both the marine officer and then a volunteer from Marine Mammals of Maine came and kind of just looked around the area, looked at her, and um, Marine Mammals of Maine advised us just to wait and see for 24 hours, because the hope was that when the tide came in, she'd make it back to the ocean. They knew that she was really young because of all the white fluff. Usually when uh, seal pups are weaned, they lose that, but this pup still had all of it, so she was still a nursing pup. So after 24 hours, they decided they needed to collect her, and um, when they brought her in, she had pneumonia, you know, she needed food, she was exhausted. So they just admitted her and made a medical plan to start caring for her. And it seems like you've made a connection with the people there and the organization, yeah, big time. So I have a daughter who's a veterinarian who works with large animals and also is really interested in wildlife and has done work with wildlife. So when I was watching these women come and collect the seal, the seal pup, I was thinking of her. I know like how dedicated a person has to be to do that kind of work. Mm. It was freezing cold outside. Mm -hmm. It was a Sunday. And they're like a small, mighty team. And just from my own experience, I know that like that's fueled by a lot of care and commitment. And so that's part of what the book is too. Like, I wanted to acknowledge that and share their story, but also like sing their praises. Once she was strong enough, Sunshine, as she was named, was released back into the waters off the coast of Maine. You were there that day when it happened. That must have been really special. It was, it was really unbelievable. For the last three months, the SEALs rehabbed at Marine Mammals of Maine, preparing for their release to the ocean. Like just to be able to, I could have never planned that experience. Yeah. It just kind of happened. And then to be able to watch the work they did and then see her mature. She got rid of her lanugo, lanugo turned gray, um, beautiful. And then, to, and of course she piled around with Dexy who was found a week later. Um, but to see them released that day, it really was like just a beautiful thing. Yeah, because this seal was not the only one found no. in Cape Elizabeth right. that winter, which is weird. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? And it was within, I mean, I almost could have thrown a baseball from where she was found to where Dexy kept coming up. And of course, he got, he, he was famous. And she was just kind of the quiet one. But it turns out she was very feisty and ended up stealing fish from him oh and my gosh. give him a hard time but I love it I love it it sounds like it sounds like you learned quite a bit from yeah. the experience what are you hoping that other people learn after they read this book I would like for people just to know that when you come across an, a marine mammal or any kind of animal in the wild like there's people to help I mean I joked about that the night that we, we were watching I could hear her crying in the night and apparently that's because she was hungry and you know, I was thinking about all kinds of things I could do to help her, and I learned like the things I was thinking to do to help wouldn't have been helpful. Mm. What was helpful was for me to just you know observe, witness, and then let the experts do their thing. And I'm just glad that they were right there. 
You can learn more about a seal named Sunshine, its author, and marine mammals of Maine by heading to our website, newcentermaine.com slash 207. When we return,